Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proctivity 2000 PLC Ladder Logic Counter. Now, a majority of programmable logic controllers or PLC programs will include a counter instruction. The Proctivity 2000 series PLC has a couple of different counter instructions for your program. These can be used to adapt to your application. Counters are used to count up and down to a specific value. When the limit is reached, an output is turned on. Counters can be made from a few different instructions from the PLC. The one shot or leading edge input is used to add one to a counter value using the math instruction. A comparison is used to compare the value to a set value or SV. If it is greater than or equal to, the output is turned on. Another input is used for the reset of the counter value. Copy is used to move the reset value into the counter value. This reset will usually override the counting application. Breaking down the basic operation of the counter will help us in understanding our application and how we can utilize counters in our automated programs. Now the Proactivity Suite has a simple counter, SCNT, and a counter, CNT instructions. We will be reviewing these instructions and looking at how to implement them in our ladder logic program. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. When dealing with counters, we need to look at the timing charts. This will help in understanding how your application will need to function. The secret of using counters is a good refresher on using timing charts. As a system integrator, this ability can prove very useful to you in the field when commissioning your automated system. Now the first instruction we will look at is a simple counter. And the simple counter uh, right here actually consists of a structure. So we can have a structure called simple counter and it has a preset value or PV. It has a current value and a done bit. And we have a one shot which looks at the leading edge of the input trigger for that rung. And uh, that is our structure for our simple counter. So uh, cancel. And here is it in our ladder. We're using switch number one to count. And the preset value is five. Then switch number two will do the reset of that simple counter. And the simple counter done bit then turns output one on. So if we look at our actual hardware and we can uh, trigger that input, we will see it starting to count. And on the fifth count, you'll see that it actually turns on that output. So if we continue to count, it will continue to increment that current value. Now if we turn on switch number two, switch number two is our reset. You can see that our output immediately goes off because our current value now re refrets or resets back to zero. We can then count or use the input again. And you can see as I turn it on, I'm still not getting anything because my reset is on. So the reset overrides the set value. Counter CNT. Now on our counter uh, instruction, if we look at it, uh, we will be using the structure name of counter and the one shot will be selected for the inputs to the counter. That's the transition from off to on. This will set up the following parameters. We have a counter current, which is a 32-bit integer. We have a counter equal, which is Boolean. We have a counter greater, another Boolean, and a counter less which is Boolean. And we have a counter preset, which is 32-bit integer. And we have a counter reset, which is 32-bit integer. So we can actually uh, put in a reset value into our counter. 
um, so we can reset back to a larger value. So you can see that we can use this as a down counter, an up counter, or any type of application we want, we can use with this instruction. So the first uh, input switch, number three, will count up. When it transitions from off to on, the counter will increment by one. The second input switch, switch four, will be count down. This will transition from off uh, to on, the counter will Take the current value and decrement by one. When both counter up and down inputs are triggered at the same time, the counter value will not change. The reset value will be done on switch five. When this is activated, the reset value will be replaced in this, the current value. The reset will override the up and down count inputs. Now what we can do is actually try this out with our uh, hardware here. So we'll take switch number three, turn it on, and you see it counts up one two, three, and you can see that um, my counter less than is on, which is output number five. Let's go up to four, and then five, you can see now it's equal to, and once we go past five, it's gonna be greater than. Then we take this next uh, input and turn it on. It now counts down, so it's back equal again. And lower one so now it's four so now it's less than and then we can turn on the reset switch number five and when it resets it doesn't matter um, if i have three or four on it's not counting so that is our counter in our productivity 2000 plc now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.